Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is our great privilege today that Gyan Torongo, with the motto, Mukta Mon, Mukta Sorsa, the first and only community radio service of the Northeast, will be launched under the aegis of Krishna Kanta Handik State Open University. We are pleased to inform you that this community radio was already launched on 28th January 2009 for experimental broadcast by the Honorable Chief Minister, who is present here today. The Government of India gave the SAKFA clearance in January 2009 and allotted the same frequency, 90.4 MHz, for regular broadcasting from today, that is 20th November 2010. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to be a part of this historic occasion. Onatar Hewa, Othoba Radio Hose, Toitho Aru Monuranjan Hompressar Kora, Ek Oti Hokti Khali Maitham. Radio Hose, Bhogolik Sthitir Labate, Jati Dharma Bhaha Nibi Khekhe, Ek Brihat Pori Kharat Anusthan Hompressar Kore. Juddha Khetra Pora Aram Bhokori Moru Anchaloloi, Mohanagarar Bukur Pora Graman Chaloloi, Bohu Jug Dhori, Hohasra Srutar Purojan Puran Kora E Maitham Tue, Nijar Jatrapathat Bohutu Poribartanar Majere, Goti Kori Se. Ek Khetra Pora Community Radio Hose, Anatar Prithibir Ek Nodbo Hongjujan. Bharatutu Community Radio Dharanai Bortaman Jathestra Prakhar Lab Kori Se. A Adunik Onatar Bebosta Ponai, Kunuek Bihek Onchalor Jonohan Harnor, Bibino Projan Homu Puran Kuribole Sestakore. Tenkor Majotoka, Hompavoniatabur, Bikokito Koralabote, He Onchalor Hompot Homu, Hu Porikol Pito Habe Bebohar Koral Ketrot, Hohai Koratu Huse, Community Radio, Prothan Udesho. He, a Bebosta Ponai, Hika Totatoi Tor Adam Prodan or Ketrot, a Ulejiko Humika Palan Kore. Logote, community radio joriote, Stanio Hilpi Hokoleo, Nijor Luko Hongi Poribekon or Hubita Laf Kore Aji, Bharatio Homprosar Itihahot, a Gorod Moy, Tota Notun, Oitayor Husanakori, Krishna Kanto Hondiko, Raji Mukto Bishabid Daloe, Uttar Purban Chalor Horbo Prothom, our Ekmatro Community Radio Kevar, Hubharam Hokoribolo Lice Mukto Mon, Mukto Sorsa, A Mul Montore. Aji, Dur or Mukta Hikar Ketrot, Amar Bishop with Dalor, Community Radio Hewa, Gyan Tarangor, Kubharam Hokolbol, Luahuse. Ekinite Ami Apnoluk of Janabuli Pai Huki Husu, J. Duhajar no son or Athais January Dinakon, Ohomor Manonia Mukamantri, Sriju Torun Gogoi Debor Upostitit, Gyan Tarangor, Protum to Porikamula Comprosar, Korahuse. Bharat Sarkare Duhajar no sonot, Prodan Kora, Sakfa Unumoti Hapeke, Gyan Torongoi, Nopoi Dohomik Sari Megahertz frequency laugh for his seal. Bharat Sarkaradar Prodan Kora, Onatar Unuka Potor Hohayot, Aji or Tat Bees November Duhajar Dog Tari Corpora, Ek and Rotwe, Eketa frequency Juriote, Neonia Homprasar Aram Hokoribo, Ekupodino, Amar Unustanolo, Ami Apnaluk Hokoluke, Jonasu Usmo Adorni. I would like to request Trisha Borwa to felicitate the Honorable Chief Minister of Assam, Shri Torun Gogol. Ami Khambarma Anushthano Le Akbar Hisu, Trisha Borwa Etiya, Ekhani Phulam Kamusa Areti Phular Turare, Manaliya Mukha Mantri Mohudayo, Khambarma Akbarna Se. Etiya Ami Priyanka Bhattasai Jok, Guwahati Vishwa Vidyalar Uparsai Jok Mohudayo, Aadhapak O.K. Methi Dangoya, এখনি ফুলাম গামুসা আর এটি ফুলার টুরারে সম্বর্ধনা জানাবলে অনুরোধ জানাইছো আই উড নাও লাইক টু রিকোয়েস্ট মিডিশ্রিতা শর্মা টু ফেলিসিটেট ডক্টর আর আর রেজোরিয়া ডিরেক্টর ডিসেন্স এডুকেশন কাউন্সিল নিউ দিল্লি আজি হবার আনেগরকি বিশিষ্ট অতিথি প্রসার ভারতীর প্রাক্তন উপসঞ্চালক প্রধান শ্রী আর এন চক্রবর্তী সম্বর্ধনা জানাবলে লোসে মৃদুস্মিতা কাশ্যপে ফাইনালি আই উড লাইক টু রিকোয়েস্ট কুইন শর্মা টু ফেলিসিটেট দি অনারেবল ভাইস চ্যান্সেলর অফ কৃষ্ণ কান্ত হ্যান্ডিক স্টেট ওপেন ইউনিভার্সিটি প্রফেসর শ্রীনাথ বড়ুয়া মে আই নাও রিকোয়েস্ট দি অনারেবল চিফ মিনিস্টার টু কাম ফরওয়ার্ড এন্ড লাইক দ্য সেরিমনিয়াল ল্যান্ড 
We will now begin this auspicious occasion with a board gate to be performed by Jiten Bosumotari and team. Jiten Bosumotari Debo Hongot Koribo Bahit Sri Parameshwar Bosumotari Kulot Sri Bipul Uja Arutalot Sri Komal Das. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
This is possible to launch such a very important service for the students, learners, and general public. Because of the help and assistance we receive from the various corners, particularly from the government of Assam, Honorable Chief Minister, who is the person behind this establishment of this university. From time to time, he is encouraging us, he is supporting us in carrying the various programs, including this launching of this radio service station. It reminds me that about two years back, no, one and a half years back, after we applied for the community radios to the Ministry of Information Broadcasting in 2008, we had the pleasure of organizing a workshop on awareness of community radio jointly with SENCA, Commonwealth Education Center for Asia, and also Minister of Information and Broadcasting in January 2009. 
that is 28th and 29th January 2009. And the Honorable Chief Minister, in that particular function, he inaugurated the function and he declared that he will establish, he will, government will give funding for the establishment of about 10 such community radios under the Krishna Kanda Handy State Open University. We are very glad and in fact the government is extending support as we need, when we need. And in fact I would like to inform Honorable Chief Minister <coughs> and other guests that two of our study centers, one in North Looking for, North, looking for Girls College and Gorgam College, they have also got uh, the papers, the relevant papers from <laughs> Minister of Information and Broadcasting to go ahead with the establishment of two community radio, radio stations. Sorry. I like to tell the esteemed gatherings that the open and distance learning system depends on the support we give to the students, to the learners, and one of the most important support we give in the form of study materials, which is in print form, print media form. The learners, the students of this university or open universities do not have regular face-to-face -face teaching learning interactions. We have to give the learning material in the print form, but the most important thing is that one of the objective of open and distance learning is to give education to anybody, anywhere and anytime. So the only alternative is to use the information and communication technology. So we have been from the very beginning, when we started our various programs in 2008 January, we have been from that time trying to give the learning materials in the audiovisual form and we have established a studio that they provided us the equipment, they provided us the guidance to establish this, this particular community radio service. While saying so, I like to say that this university, since the very beginning, the launching academic programs, placed topmost priority to develop course material in both print and audiovisual forms, besides providing parts of the courses to learners for radio and television broadcast services. Since the university at present is handicapped for not having the infrastructure in its permanent campus at Rani, a minimum infrastructure in the form of studios for radio and audiovisual production have been created in the rented house in the house pet complex with the financial support for the distance education council. Our mission for establishing an educational radio service became easier when the director of Commonwealth Educational Media Center for Asia, shortly we call it SEMCA, Dr. Schrader, requested this university to organize a two-day workshop on the role of community radio in the northeastern region. The university hosted this two-day workshop on the role, of role and importance of the community radio service in social and educational development of the society in collaboration with the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. The Honorable Chief Minister was kind enough, I have already stated, that to declare the establishment of 10 such community radio center through this university for 10 colleges located in various parts of the country. The university plans to telecast educational program both pre-recorded and live directly to the centers in phase manner from the beginning of 2011 so the lease line to be provided by the National Knowledge Network, which is shortly called NKN, in collaboration with the BSNL. In the first phase, the university plans to connect about 30 study centers throughout the state, through the BSNL lease line, so that the live lectures, discussions can be telecast to these 30 centers from the head office of the university so that the students and learners can direct interaction with the experts. As a part of the ICT mission for the learner support service, the university is preparing to launch a web portal in the early part of 2011. This web portal seeks to provide the learners of this university, students of other universities and colleges and general public to get the benefit of learning materials of KK Hendik University audiovisual programs and radio programs anytime 
anywhere and for anybody. The community radio service was launched in the whole country only in 2004. That was first launched in Anna University, Chennai. And as in November 2008, the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting gave licenses to about 38 educational institutions and NGOs in our country, whereas at the same time that Australia had more than 440 such community radio stations in 2008. In our country only 38. Anyway, we are not lagging far behind. We are happy to announce already you have come to know that this is the first community radio service we are providing, this university is providing, and with the support of others, and I think we'll be able to provide such type of services to the students, not only of KK Handy University, to the students of other sister universities of this universe, of this region, as well as to the public. With these words, I welcome all of you again. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, may I now request the Honorable Chief Minister of Assam, Shitoun Gogoi, to formally launch Gyan Toronga on air. Etiami, a homer manonio mukumontri mohudoi, Sri Jud Torun Gogoi Debo, Gyan Torangor, Hubho Udbudhan Koribolo, on Rujanaisu. Etiarepara, Gyan Torango Community Radio Shower, Punputia Homprosar, Aram Hokarahobo. Sagatam Janai Mukoli Kurisu, Krishna Kanta Hondikoi, Rajik Muktavis Savitala Antarbata, Utta Ruban Salar, Harbapatham Community Radio Service, Gyantarango, Muktamon, Mukta Sorsa Amar Eonistan Apunaki Huniase, FM Bendor, Nobudahomik Sarimika Harjo Sutahakal, Akinate Abuhasu, Gyantarango, Eti, Sumu Abadukan. Doctor Kamura Commission of Hote, Divino Horan or Hamazik Unamura, Omistan Hompra Sarkorai, Amar Mukhautisa. Hamazar Hokolusani, Sotar, Prozon, Purva or Te, Amar Niome Hitan Homo Hosahose, and Edoli. Signature Tuner Pasate, Billy, Fansbazi Pass Minute, Amar Duni, Kajakusi Aram Hokorahabo, Mohammed of Mohatma Gandhi, Atmoziboni, Murhotio on Mehonor Kahinir, Dharabahi Patere. Pass was a dominant of Mohapur Hudutana Birosito, Borgito Romistan. Year Pasate, Pass was a Pundora Minito, Krishna Kanta Hondiko, Rajik Muktavisa with Galar, Pythokroma Hotezurito, Hikamura Kotika Romistan. Listeners, you tune to the English program of Krishna Kanta Hondiko State Open University. Today, Listen to Professor Krishna Puran Venugopal Nagraj speaking on the topic 
scientific research in mass communication scientific research in mass communication involves four identifiable operations these are number 1 demonstration of khama khamai ghatana raje biborane re khajwa anusthan hampratikir prasaron khamai biori 5 baje 30 minute bhinno dharme anusthane re khoptahor proti biori 5 baje 35 minute ot thakibo 20 minute jora ekoti khaptahik anusthan khoptahor arambhite hombare prasar kara hobo mohila hokolor uddeshe bishesh bhabe prostut kara anusthan mongolbar aru shukurbare thakibo sahitya sora anusthan ti ए अनुष्ठान आम प्रथम आगढ़ कांचन बरवार बहु पथित उपन्यास असीम जार हेराल सीमा शुक्रबार हम कबित गल्प प्रबंध समालोचन मुखर आगिल बुधवार स्वास्थ्य सम्पर्क विभिन्न दिहा परामर्शान स्वास्थ्य चर्चा महिला सबलीकरण उद्देश्य सजा अनुषान जगृति प्रचार कर बृहस्पतिवार शितान शनिवार भाषा शिक्षा अनुषान अनुष्ठान कार्यसूची जीदर आरम्भ करिग्नेचार टीने अनुषान सामरणी जीपति ज्ञान तरंग दैनिक पुनपटिया सम्प्रचार कर पाँच बजार सन्धिया सत बजाल और इंटर पुनर सम्प्रचार हम पिछदिना पुवा छजार आठ बजाल और दिन बार बजार बजाल प्रिय श्रोता इतिहाक लाभ गुवाहा दिसपुर थका नेटफ्लि कन्भेनशन सेंटर आयोजित आम सम्प्रचार आनुष्ठानिक उद्बोधन कार्यसूची ल उत्तर पूर्वांचल प्रथम और एकम्र कम्यूनिटी रेडिओ सार्विज ज्ञान तरंग मुक्त मन मुक्त चर्चा मुक्ति कर माननीय मुख्यमंत्री श्रीजुत तरुण गगेदेवे दिया भाषण कृष्णकान खंडिक मुक्त विश्वविद्यालय हाइट चेन्सार प्रफेसर श्रीनाथ बरवा डांगरिया आज विशिष्ट अतिथि प्रफेसर मेरी डांगरिया हाइट चेन्सार गुवाहाटी इूनिभार्सिटी 
Dr. Rosalia, Director of Eastern Education Council, Government of India, Arvind Chakrabarti, former Deputy Director General Dildarsan, Kikista, Otiti Hokal, Haru Omeri Vitaraiz. Ajire Onustano, Jogli Bodoi Pai, Mohan Pasakoi, Anandi Da Hoisu, Haru Ajire Dindu, Amar Kikha Jogador, Eta Smore Nyodi Isabe, Polygoni Tohobo, Ajire Yat Nauti Stot, Ajire Jitukai Community Radio Service Center, Adaji Mukoli Pala Hoise, Haru Yaru Polot, Okol, Okomura no Hoi Gute, Nauti Stot, Pohu Amar, Duraswali, Nyon Keta Chesto Koki Toho, Tarkunu Kondenai, Haru Renue Hokolo Komoide, Vike Koi, Vimino Dhono Communication for Petro, Vike Kondi Kago Hon Kori Aise, Haru Ajiu, Jodi Vaji, Television E Ho, Internet E Ho, Nana Dhono Communication Technology, Aviska Kwa Sotyo, Ajiu Radio Guru Toho Ajiu Koma Nai, Aji, Ami Kofi, Jamar, Sina Professor, Sina Gurwa Dangoria, Process Study Center to Aji Kula Hoise, Aria Fora, Mukta Visavidalo, Kego, Kisno Ganga Panditori, Mukta Visavidalo, Ji Udeso, Jami Okoro, Jihika, Bagiana Hosun Kori, Visarise, Jote Metako Dimani, Duratta Yarubi <laughs> Humble Yana Horan Polyburi and Processor Solayasu, Ami Nozona got her bowler say, Ami Dunin Dick Nanon Narnor got her merely, Yani Bulla Massa Cora to sit. Albamiaji Halpaisu, Yakomo to Ali Dekis or Hamu Polyburton. As the Sato Satya Horror Mazote Hawk, Bama Bulla Horror Mazote Hawk, as the town for Mazota Tamul, Misty Bongi Polyburton Police, yet a who was like come. A community center, Patroko to it, GR was a fifty percent of education, Arubaki, fifty percent of social, the Hamaji, Zikini, size to repair of a earthquake of a disaster of a climate change of Potal of a Amar father, Homosa, a kid of a malaria hoy, Nanan, or no kid of a dengue hoy, Nan, he would like it. Social responsibilities is what I say. You are a kid. I store Kitty will not put it at Global again. He killed a kid. He do. I mean, he can I will in a home. Adi, I mean, who he? Jake is not on the good. He sold a notun on the subject. I mean, as a I I didn't economics. 
अभी हम अकाउंट एफ नलेज कमिशन बनाई स्किल डेवलपमेंट सेंटर बनाई क्लैमेट जी नन बहुत धरण आज क्लैमेटिक चेन्ज बोर्ड आज आम क्लाब कथा इरीगेशन कथा नान जीवन आम समस्या रिलिवेन्ट आम डे टू डे जी आज तक इनोवेशन ऊपर गुरुत्व आज इनोवेशन आज जथेष लोक आम मजटो सही मानुखनको आज जिसमें नतुन इनोवेशन करेज कर इनोवेशन लगे नतुन आइडिया निव कन्सेप्ट नि इनोवेशन जो नाम के निश्चय क्षेत्र आम शिक्षा विद आज आज कृष्णकान्त गांधी मुक्त विश्वालय हम गुवाहाटी हम डिब्रुगढ़ हम तेजपुर सको मान शिक्षा अनुषान आज आम सको प्रचेषा भाई जो शिक्षार क्षेत्र किसु आगे गई और तीव्र गति आम आगे जा फल invited guest and faculty members and students of this university today is a really a very important day in the history of education higher education in assam and we now have a community radio uh, service at kk uh, hanikoi open university and the vice chancellor and also our honorable chief minister only told you what uh, you know, this can do i don't know to add more to this except saying that conceptually if you look at it it is a community radio service so it's a participation of community so that's what uh, one has to uh, emphasize on uh, and in fact uh, this this is a new idea in education uh, system in the sense that the participation of community in the education that's a very important thing and so around this we have to work around and uh, maybe lots of things can be thought about uh, maybe you know some uh, discussions and uh, some other programs where uh, we can get community participation they can tell us about what they want and what kind of uh, programs uh, what kind of courses what kind of knowledge uh, the community expect from us so we can uh, not only help them but also can get their feedback so there is another important area uh, of this and of course uh, many of these uh, courses uh, that can be given that's already been uh, talked about uh, so in general it is important uh, that we are using more technology you know basically teaching is all about you know uh, co communi communication and of course not one way communication it should be two way communication both sides so that's what i has talked about the community participation Uh, so uh, we uh, in order to improve higher education uh, system we have to use all modern uh, technology uh, radio uh, is one thing fm radio session and uh, also uh, we have to think in terms of online education also in new uh, course we are planning we are thinking along that line uh, video conferencing online education uh, all uh, these we get should be a part of the education system so those days of chalk and talk method of education is done now we have to use all uh, methods of communication internet uh, communication and others also for uh, development of uh, uh, higher higher uh, higher education in the uh, in the state or in the country uh, today i would also like to make an announcement for you that uh, i would also like to take to the honorable chief minister also that uh, guwahati university also has now officially signed the agreement uh, we are supposed to set up a community radio center as a radio service within about 3 months from now so we shall about, uh, we shall also do it and from the university we have a, in the university we have institute of distance and open learning uh, so the director is here kanur ko das so uh, uh, there also we will have this uh, thing within a 5 mile radius uh, from gati university campus we can take people around and we can uh, also uh, uh, give this course work to the radio plus also uh, we like to 
put more emphasis on community uh, service. Uh, we have a big campus. We have several thousand students in the campus. So I think uh, a kind of healthy interactions can be set about to FM radio. Uh, thing, apart from other educational programs. So that will probably get uh, lots of things. Uh, about, uh, student feedback is also another thing you can get it through, uh, through this community radio session. So uh, I would like to join uh, <coughs> Professor Borua in thanking our Honorable Chief Minister. It's because of his encouragement, because of uh, all everything that we want from him, he has given us. So at least Guwahati University, I can say that. And because of that, we have made lots of progress in the last two, three years. You have seen we have made lots of progress, progress in this. We have introduced lots of courses. Uh, of course, uh, uh, one thing about applied economy, actually we have this business economics, master of business economics. That's also applied economics. Uh, so that is helping. Lots of people are you know, interested in learning that course uh, because it is really directly applicable. Uh, so we are uh, trying to do the many other things, which is not the forum for this. Uh, basically, uh, we have to use technology, modern technology, latest technology in education. That is the buzzword that what we should uh, do. Uh, I'd like to thank the Honorable Chief Minister and the Government of Assam, and also the Distance Education Council, uh, uh, the director is here, so they also help us in this, and I believe that we shall also do this. Lastly, I would also tell you, uh, like to tell you one thing, uh, that in Guwahati University we have an advantage that we are not just an open university, we have, it's a regular program we have, and also we have open uh, distance education program. <coughs> so that makes a unique situation for us. Uh, so what we like to do in uh, very soon is what is known as convergence program. You know, you have combined both regular and distance uh, mode education. So maybe uh, some of the courses or some part of the courses, the special papers can be given to regular education and some subsidiary subjects can be given to distance education. So we like to use this combination of uh, different uh, modes. So that's the advantage we have in God University. So both uh, regular and distance can go together. Uh, so this is what we will uh, try. So with this, uh, uh, again I thank the Vice Chancellor of uh, KK Handiga University that uh, he, he has uh, taken a lot of uh, pains in uh, setting up this university. He is uh, very successful. And I also thank that he's also his effort. He also helped us in getting this community radio service. Actually, we got the permission more or less at the same time. Uh, you are faster than me uh, with this thing. So it doesn't matter. Got university, we, we will also have it. So thank you for that. Uh, so with this, I conclude. Thank you very much. Honorable Vice Chancellor uh, K.K. Handi Cooper University, Vice Chancellor Gauhati Open University, and Gauhati University, sorry, because I am used to this Open University. So it's important. You are a convention system. Both, we are both. We are both dual mode university, right? And uh, since I told you, the uh, former deputy director, uh, All India Radio. First, uh, at the outset, I thank Vice Chancellor Handi Kopa University for providing me this opportunity. And I deem it a real uh, privilege, uh, privilege to be present here on this occasion. I also convey Greetings from the Chairman of Distance Education Council, Professor Raj Sekhan Pillai, Vice Chancellor Indra Gandhi Open University, on this particular occasion of the launch of the first uh, community radio in the Northeast region by the Open University and Thandi Open University. Uh, as has been said in the previous, uh, by previous speakers, radio, in fact, uh, is a very cheap and powerful medium and can reach, uh, uh, can be very effective tool for imparting distance education. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, when we talk about distance education, I will slightly digress and just within two or three minutes then come to this one. Distance education is also a form of education where teacher and taught, they are not directly in the contact, but the regular process of teaching takes place. And for this, different types of media are used, which, uh, where print is the main media, which is supported by the other media like radio, audio, video, satellite, 
and internet and other things. So, the first distance education in our country started in 1964 by this, uh, this uh, Delhi University. It was a correspondence post institution and initially it was a just as a project, taken as a project whether this uh, idea will be accepted or not. But as the time grew, demand for higher education also started increasing. Presently, we have 400 plus uh, universities in the countries and more than 22,000, uh, roughly about 23,000 degree and postgraduate colleges, which cater to the gross enrollment ratio of 12%. Our gross enrollment ratio is 12% at the moment. But in normal course, this ratio should be around 22. For example, in America, grass enrollment, grass enrollment ratio in uh, higher education is 81 percent. In UK, it is 49 percent. Uh, in Japan, it is 41 percent. In a country like Philippines, it is 31 percent. Although in India, we have 12 percent. There are places, for example, in Delhi, I know two cases where one of the person who got 92 percent, he got admission in the college. Another person whom I know, he has 88 percent, but he could not make to the college because the number of seats are limited. Question is where will he go? So in that case, distance mode is also a powerful tool whereby one can use its to empower itself or for inclusive growth as the chief minister was mentioning in the beginning uh, before this uh, lecture. This sense education has of course with the time, passage of time. Earlier for it was a correspondence then distance education where print material were made in self instructional format. Then technology enabled where radio and television were also used. Now internet which makes your knowledge media or knowledge best media. Now, as this system grow, different technology have their own importance. And in a hilly state like Assam, community radio definitely plays an important role. Because by using this type of radio, one can reach to a larger distances. Not to all the places, but inaccessible distances. I will quote you one example, because uh, once uh, we made uh, some pilot study in the state of Haryana, how effective can be the use of radio for imparting education. Uh, it was found that specifically, specifically those persons coming from remote and farmers family, they were more interested in listening lessons, mostly in social science or humanities we can say, not sciences, sciences is difficult, you cannot do that. And uh, then on one of the survey question was why you are interested in listening to the radio? The answer is many times it's not possible because we are working, we are sometimes in the field also. But at the same time, nowadays radios are very compact, you can put in the pocket. And while going through or while working, you can also listen to that. And as a child or as a grown-up person, one can also learn by listening or hearing. So that way it can be a very effective tool. And for this, I, uh, on my behalf and on behalf of Distance Education Council, congratulate the Vice Chancellor, Handik University for taking this initiative and for launching this complete review project. So far, the Distance Education Council is concerned, it has three objectives, promotion, coordination and maintenance of the standard in open and distance education system in the country. As I told you that the first, uh, when we started 1962, there was only one correspondence uh, institute and by 91-92, when the Distance Education Council came into existence, only three open universities were there. Now at the moment we have 14 open universities, one national open university, Indra Gandhi open university and 13 state open universities, 150 dual node institutions as uh, Professor, uh, uh, this Vice Chancellor Gauhati University was saying and approximately 100 institutions. Now as the number of institutions increases, uh, the quality of the system also becomes a concern. 
So in order to uh, uh, encourage the system uh, institutions to launch distance education program, that is promotion is one of the part. And for promotion, especially to government institutions like open universities and dual mode institutions, we provide development assistance. This is a one part of where one can, uh, even if they don't have resources, they can develop course materials or they can incorporate technology in delivery of programs. Apart from that, uh, we also encourage them for sharing of resources from other universities. Suppose uh, uh, Handik University wants to launch a program, the same expertise may not be available here in Gohati. So what is harm if they take a program from uh, Indra Gandhi University or from any other university nearby? Which such type of program. So such type of collaborative arrangement also we encourage among the institutions. There are two main reasons for that. One is it reduces cost and second thing it ensures quality in the system. The third aspect is also which we are trying to encourage nowadays is uh, the credit transfer system which will increase mobility of the students from open system to the uh, convert, uh, convert, uh, regular system, face-to-face -face system and vice versa. For example, anyone working, specifically in the service sectors, we have noticed that many of the people working, they uh, are transferred after two years or two, three years and they found very difficult to continue with the university where they have enrolled. So in that case, if we defined our courses in terms of credit, then one can earn some of the credits from the system where he, he was uh, earning and revenue he can earn from the other universities. So at the same time this can be applied and it can be lead to his certification or degree. Uh, <coughs> uh, for maintenance of quality another uh, step what we have taken is the approval of programs and courses of the institution. There is a gadget notification from the government of India that if the courses not approved by the distance education council, they are not valid for employment in government sectors. So for this purpose, specifically for open universities, we mostly take their courses as approved and have issued notifications from time to time. But for dual mode institutions and private institutions, because private institutions are there, they please the students uh, for example, maybe uh, the Handik University offers the BA program, they will charge uh, 3,000 to 4,000 fees or maybe less than that. But if a private university is there for the same program, they will charge 15,000, 20,000. They will show to the students as if they are going to uh, break open the sky and they will be in their front. But the reality is the material and other things is very poor. So that certification we have started and only those programs which are approved by the Distance Education Council are valid for employment and we are trying to uh, reinforce this time and again. Although as I said there are systems, uh, uh, we have also constant, we have less manpower so all the time it may not be possible that immediately we uh, take the application and do it. There may be some time but, but these are some of the steps. But I am happy to note that the Handik University, although it is a new university, it has started and now it has learned 42 programs and more than 40,000 enrollment in a short span of time. And on behalf of Chairman Distance Education Council, I will say that whatever best we can do, we will try to provide them development grants so that they go further. With this, I thank you again once for giving me this opportunity and for you for listening to me for that. Thank you.